I just want to have a question from Frank Jackson, who uh, he asked, and I think it's only fair that Frank asks his question. <coughs> Will spending on nuclear weapons in 2023 was $91 billion, a record, with all nine nuclear weapon powers increasing their, their own spending. Do you believe that this makes the world safer, makes the world safer? Uh, regardless of your answer to that, uh, what should be the UK's contribution to achieving a nuclear weapon free world to which they are committed in principle uh, by both both parties and uh, uh, all the, the five permanent members of the Security Council who are the primary nuclear powers in the world. and all our commitments that way. In an ideal world, would we need nuclear weapons? No. But we're not in that world. We're in a world where we do have people who will do us harm. And we've got to make sure we can defend ourselves. One of the biggest priorities, single priority, I think the main priority of the government, many of me, is to stand up and defend the people. And so yes, I, I, I take your point that in an ideal world, we do want to reduce the number of nuclear warheads and talk to the different stakeholders around the world, and this is the five members, but also other countries have nuclear weapons as well. So we can have that conversation, but in the meantime, I think we do have to be conscious of the fact that there are people out there who will do us harm, and we've got to be able to defend ourselves. It's a last resort defense, admittedly, and we, the Liberal Democrats, have said that we will match, uh, support NATO, much more, match 2.5% of our GDP, right, on the military and defense spending, and also with regards to the, to the army, the army has got cuts by the Conservative Party previously. We will go back on that and replace the, replace the army personnel to more than 100,000. That's our commitment. But to your point about nuclear weapons, yes, in an ideal world, ideally, yes, we should reduce the number of nuclear warheads. But we're not in that world, unfortunately. And Hannah. What about the 20s? You got up to 20s, you got on to another question. question now, thank you. You want to sit down, please? I'd appreciate it. Can you sit down? Sit down. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Frank. I'll be quick. I, I support our nuclear deterrent. I'm afraid I don't think the world as it is, we can do anything but to have a strong nuclear deterrent. And yeah, I'm very concerned about what's happening between Russia and Ukraine. And yeah, as, as I said, I, I completely support the nuclear deterrent. Use the word deterrent. Yeah. What if, when the deterrent fails? Well, you know the answer, Councillor Swords. Uh, the Labour government, the next Labour government, put the security of our country first, and we would renew Trident, uh, and we've talked about the triple law for that. Um, I can't answer your question in terms of funding, but I know that we have um, committed to 0.7% of GNI to go towards global development projects. So I don't believe we get poorer by making other places in the world. Sorry, get richer by making get the right hand. Don't get richer by making other parts of the world poorer. And finally, yes, we have the right hand. I've got two sentences here. The Green Party would dismantle Britain's entire trident of <coughs> nuclear deterrent <coughs> and remove all foreign nuclear weapons from UK soil. We would, however, keep the NATO military alliance because we believe it has an important role in ensuring the ability of its member states to respond to their threats and their security. Well, thank you very much.